Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State Blind. However, there's been an update and Dead State has been given the subtitle I guess, or maybe that's just a patch subtitle, reanimated. As you can see, um, there's sort of a window here now. There's been a load of, um, well, different little uh, updates and such. As you can see, this text is a little easier to read now, which is nice. Uh, this is still sort of the same, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, they said there was there were a lot of little updates that will make the game just nicer and easier to play, less prone to crashing, and so on and so forth. So, I'm looking forward to it, and we'll see how it is. So anyway, we were at this uh, museum over here, and we've killed these crazy people uh, dressed in medieval armor, which is probably not the best, I mean, not the worst idea, considering the zombies are trying to bite through, you know, <clears throat> skin and bone, I guess. Let's see, shin guards, bracer, gas mask, chainmail armor, replica shield, heavy and a little cumbersome, this is, uh, this shield is capable of facsimile of jousting shields used in medieval Europe. Oh, is a capable facsimile. It provides excellent protection against melee damage at the cost of reduced AP. Oh, and accuracy in melee attacks. Its bash attack is most focused on dealing damage and has a very slight chance of causing any status effect. And also a flanged mace. While this medieval weapon was likely meant purely for display, it nonetheless remains an, as excellently suited to cracking skulls as its forerunners were. Yeah, I didn't think I could actually carry all this. Actually, does anyone still have... Yes, you do. <clears throat> now, the question is, they've also reworked the combat, so uh, it will be different. Let's see, because I, I want to see how those things are. Oh yeah, there's also a confirmation now. Let's see. There we go, Nathan is not hostile. Attack anyways? No. So that's nice. You know, a couple of times before I uh, mistakenly attacked my own people. So... Let's compare that shield to what we have. It's 4 defense versus 6 defense. Uh, it's got 10 slash resist versus... Yeah, what I have is a lot better. And this is actually the same weight, so... Never mind that. <clears throat> I'll also check the shin guards and such. This one is quite interesting. Gauntlets. Steel gauntlets, a rare necessity these days. These are authentic recreations made for museums and sport jousting. Uh, plate helm, an, an uncommon sight outside of Renaissance fairs and history museums. This helmet is nonetheless made for use, not decoration. Crafted from steel instead of cheaper, s softer aluminum. While it somewhat re uh, restricts the user's field of vision, it makes up for it with excellent resistance from multiple types of damage. That's quite a lot, actually. Worn over chainmail, plate armor is one of the best pieces of protective equipment against melee attacks. The set of armor is generic and offers less protection than a custom suit. Not only is this sword an apparent reproduction of a famous fantasy blade, it was apparently done as a custom job. The worksmanship put into the weapon suggests an experienced master's work and an unexperienced uh, and an experienced wielder's damage. Ornamentation on and around the hilt and pommel have been dented slightly, as if used to crack enemies in the face and head if they got too close. Probably not a bad choice at all. Yeah, this is horribly heavy. 40 pounds for that. Oh, you can't even... Alright. Let's have Regina carry that. Let's uh, let's see how these things fare, actually. Uh, it's 5 AP cost versus 4. Wow. And a load more damage. Yeah, I think she'll be using this. Quite uh, amusing, actually. Now, the gauntlets probably go here. Yeah, they're much better at protection. Also, by the way, there's now a uh, hardcore mode where, you know, um, people eat more food and so on and so forth and are more difficult to keep pleased. And also PC infection, so you can get infected as well. Hmm, that's quite nice. <laughs> Should I give her that as well? It's 40 pounds, it's ridiculous. But it's a lot of protection, it's ridiculous protection. Look at that. And f unfortunately, she's almost full. Of course, I'll get rid of that, but yeah, do I really need another tank? Hmm. I don't think I do, but for now, let's see what else is there. The Jack of Hearts. 
Uh, not a standard item. Riding leathers. Oh yeah, and the intimacy problems. What? Whoever owned this odd but dangerous weapon apparently was pleased with the comparison. Writing the name was perfect because this keeps everyone away and knocks down anyone who gets close to me. It can probably be assumed that actual intimacy issues were the least uh, of its former wielder's problems. And of course I can't carry all of it. Nope. But I want to get it, because it's quite a nice, interesting thing. There we go. Also, Nathan needs a little bit of healing. Oh, there's an animation for that now, so it's not instant. Interesting. Unfortunately, I still get stuck in um, Max. There we go. All better now. Alright, so let's see. Oh yeah, I have to turn this on. There we go. Oh, that's locked. Okay, and that's locked. That's open. Is there a door here? No. So let's go through this. Oh, there we go. That's a new animation. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to wait for the um, for the noise to die down. I don't want to attract too many zombies. But yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I want to keep that armor, though. I mean, it's pretty good. It actually has more armor than this. Although the only two less defense. I think Metal Canyon will be fine. We'll see, though. There's, as I said, the combat has been completely re reworked, so it might be much more difficult now. And it may be that Metal Canyon will not be such a huge tank anymore, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, that's locked. That's not locked, but I don't think there's anything over here to really do. There's a bathroom stall. Wait a second. Are you saying there's no way to get into... Oh yeah, there. Okay, never mind. I wanted to say if there's no way to get into the back area. Oh, that was seven rolls of... Um, of uh, toilet paper. Now oh, let's smash this down. Actually... Whoa, that did 40 damage. Let's, uh, let's have Regina do this. Slash wild swing. Let's just do a normal one. Ugh. That didn't do as much damage as I was hoping, but oh well. Alright, so off you go and smash that. Can't move to target. Oh yeah, they've also reworked the uh, pathfinding, so we shouldn't see those huge problems with, you know, lag and such. When the, when the game just started going crazy. Hmm, I don't think I can take all of this. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they worked on the UI at all. Would've been nice. Anything here? Restaurant supplies. Restaurant supplies? I thought this was a museum. Do they... Well, I guess they ate here because, uh, yeah. There is a kitchen in the back. Kind of weird. I guess it was sort of a place where uh, people gathered to, you know, perform. Uh, I mean, pretend it was medieval times still and stuff like that, possibly. I don't know. Let's see the dumpster. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to take these two things. Ah, oh, can't carry that much. Come on. That and that. Yes, please. I don't think there's anything else on this map, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. There's nothing else, so let's go. Well, we're pretty full. That was interesting, but again, let me check. Ten. This is only three. It's a huge change, of course, but this is so heavy. Hmm. It's actually more defense, but less bite resist. But there's also slash resistant. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll still carry this instead of the uh, plate armor. Effects bulky. Hmm. I don't know, really. This is pretty cool, though. Um, I think I'll keep it that way for now. Don't think anyone will be wearing that armor unless we know we're going to uh, attack something. And we need a lot of protection. Actually, before we leave, let's just check this area around here. Just, you know, find something else. No, nothing. Okay. Be that way. Fine. Wild herbs. Hmm. I don't think we really have... Oh, well, why not? 
don't think we really have the um, space for that, but I guess we'll add them anyway. We don't have the time though. There we go, 19. Not bad. <clears throat> there we go, as long as... Oh, your party gets tired after traveling at night. It becomes harder to fight in the dark. Ah, great. Does that mean they'll all be fatigued now because I was 48 minutes late? Hopefully not. But we'll see. Well, you know, that didn't happen before, even though I, I've seen forums talking about that. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Also, now you can toggle, you know, whether people move in the shelter or not. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Even though I do, you know, like that there's actually some movement in the shelter. But then again, it's kind of difficult sometimes um, finding where they are. Some food, blah, blah, blah. Four and a half gallons of fuel. This was the second time we were out, though, right? I believe. <clears throat> well, people... I don't know. People don't seem to be fatigued, so I guess that's good. Right. First of all, we're going to the uh, inventory, of course. Oh, people still appearing up there. Hmm. Right, select all. Actually, let's see. I have three. That's not too bad. Hmm. 10 bite resist and 10 slash resist, but that's it. And a little piercing. This also has bludgeoning and... Yeah, I'll keep it like that, I think. Uh, let's put that in there. Max. That is 8 defense. And 50% bite resist. Wow. It is 30 pounds, though. That's quite silly. Hmm. Huh. Bracer, a steel sleeve that fits over the hand and forearm. Well, it does have three defense, so that's pretty good. It's quite heavy, but hey. Um, Nathan. Now, what I want to do... Oh, yeah. That weapon looked quite interesting. And also has a lot of reach. Uh, where is it now? It's 6 AP cost, but it's 40 to 65 damage. That's pretty amazing. I think... Nathan might keep that. Is it heavy? Uh, it's fairly heavy. And Regina. Let me compare that to the military armor. Or is it there? 6 versus 10 defense. 50% bite resist versus 10. Yeah, that's a lot. Of course, very little ballistic resist. But that's a pretty crazy armor, actually. Wow. Unless you're fighting, um, you know, ballistic stuff, this is actually a lot better. Because it's only 5 pounds um, heavier. And it's got a lot more protection all around. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, well she can keep the sword, I guess. It's a pretty crazy one. Alright. So let's go to sleep. Um, I actually did look it up. How it's possible to, you know, uh, build a science lab. And apparently, <clears throat> just one of your characters slowly gets the required stuff. Science 10, mechanical 2. Yeah, we need 3, I believe. <sighs> so annoying. I wish I would tell you which characters are available to do this. So let's see. Wait, as I said, we needed... Ten, no, five signs and three mechanical. Uh, so signs, I'm just gonna go through them. Signs, five signs, two mechanical. Um, signs, I wish I could use my arrow keys, but I can't. Signs, two, seven signs, zero mechanical. Oh yeah, she's a surgeon, two signs, five signs, ten mechanical. What? What? Since when? Oh. Since when did that happen? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Of course we're making that. Bloody hell. Um. Melina Guzman. Isn't she the infected one? I think she is. Anyway. Yeah. Nice. Finally we'll be able to build a science lab. Build it. Build it. Yeah, I know they're off duty, but they'll build it the next day. I mean, start building it. I want as many people as possible on that. Because otherwise they have no jobs anyway. There we go, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I like it. All right, let's go to sleep. Go to second floor and see what we're gonna do. Off to bed we go. We might have a zombie attack or something. Yes, I still wish the whole UI would be a little more polished. But oh well. Right, so we actually didn't bring enough food for the entire day. Of course, we still have loads of food stocked, but you know, I like to be in the plus. Uh, still po they're going crazy down there. Still positive morale change, 53. So we've got a lot banked. That's good. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, that's good. Let's see what happens. I know that you and I have different opinions on how to run this place. That's just how things are. But I want to be clear that I'm not just representing myself. I represent the views of many people. Oh, so now he's pulling out the big guns. I'm a reasonable man, a man of peace, but I'm afraid I won't be able to reassure the majority of my friends here that you're on the right path if you can at least show their concerns some respect. What an asshole. You think you can lead better than me? You shouldn't even be allowed to make decisions here. Okay, I'll remember. Uh, and what if I don't? I don't know. Certainly there's got to be someone with a more reasonable approach to leadership here. Someone who doesn't threaten a man of God. <laughs> what an asshole. You think, uh, keep talking and not even God will save you from my wrath. You made a point, I'll keep that in mind. I sure, you hope, uh, I sure hope you find them. You're going to need all the help you can get. Thank you for your time. What a fucker, man. <clears throat> it might be time to have Todd have an accident outside. <laughs> that would be a really bad thing to do, but he is getting on my nerves. Coming in here, you know, like, oh, yes, I'm just... Very nice. Ah, oh, crap, they are fatigued. Ah, shite. Okay. Boss. You need to leave Todd alone. Go to say some questions. Hmm. Well, that sucks. So they are fatigued. Hmm. Okay. Well, bear that in mind. Don't get uh, caught out after eight. So I need a different team for today. Because my character isn't fatigued. He's a Terminator. I'm a Terminator. Jeez, that's going to take a long time. Is there really no one else that can do this? Let's see. Max. Yep, he can help. Uh, Nathan. Nope. And Regina. Nope. Okay, well, just relax then, I guess. I don't know what health is. Uh... She's full on health. Wait, who... Nathan got really, um, hurt. Well, he's only 10 HP away, but oh well. So, there's nothing else we can really do. Hospitality. Relaxation. Regina. Yeah, I mean, you know, Todd came in here... All like, oh, you know, I will bring peace and blah blah and make people feel better. And now he's just power tripping, and and I would I would have left him completely alone, you know. As I said, I don't mind if he's religious as long as he doesn't shove it in my face. But he keeps shoving it in my face now, and that I will not take. Uh, create a high volume blueprint so that characters with lower mechanical skill. Oh, hmm can properly modify the weapon. Well, how about you just modify the weapon? Forget the blueprints. Tactical vest advanced. Hmm. See, all you can do here is create blueprints for other characters, for characters with lower stuff, but how do I actually make this then? Uh, oh, build, I guess. Mm, no. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. So. Different team. Amy can come. She's got seven mechanical. Uh, then we've got Anita. Seven mechanical. And one more. Craig says nine melee. Jeez. Alright, bring it on. So I think that's it for the party, right? Yep. All right, so let's remember. <clears throat> Amy, Anita, and Craig. We need to give them weapons and such, uh, unless they already have them. 
Alright. Well, I wonder what's gonna happen with Todd, then. He's probably gonna start trouble. Ah, why is it... Why is this not alphabetical? Right, she's got this stuff. This thing is not too good, this axe, unfortunately. Um... She can keep this, I guess. What to use... Well, the wooden bat is nice. Oh, yeah, she can use Mr. Stabby, I guess. And where's Amy? There's Amy. Yeah, they've got pretty good armor here. So that's good. A combat helmet. Combat machete. And... Oscar. It's Oscar, right? Armor. <clears throat> you can have this. This. And something for the arms. These are yard gloves. Oh, butcher gloves. There you go. And a proper slashing weapon. A machete is not too great. Hmm. I guess you can have this for now. All right. Well, we're going to go out next time. And we're going to... Oh, they're actually lying down now. That's cool. Yeah, we're gonna uh, go and scavenge, and I'll probably talk to Davis and such, or listen to the radio. So anyway, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.